Let's try. Can't afford to lose noodles. We're gonna try all four. So there's four noodles in this pack. We're gonna do our spicy chili and Szechuan pepper, sesame sauce. We got ginger sesame sauce as well as fried shallot. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of CS Learn with MSU Mondays. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, rate, and share, and subscribe in the link down below. These ones, um, very hard to Google translate. <laughs> um, they, what I saw was highalwayswin.com, which also is translating to because I can't afford to lose noodles. Basically, these are a Taiwanese brand noodle made by celebrity TV show host, Su Nyman. So he came up with his own brand of instant noodles. These ones here are your stereotypical Taiwanese noodles. They're air dried, Tainan style, Fan Miao style. Um, which I'm super stoked because I love myself a good Taiwanese noodle. They're always super chewy. And we got four different flavors to try. We're gonna do all in one. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so this is what the noodle box looks like. Inside we got all four different flavors here. And this is what comes inside. So an assortment of sauces that are usually oil-based, some flakes and the like. So three out of four packages uh, come with this nice thick cut noodles here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the flakes there. And that there's gonna cook for seven minutes. So this one here is a different noodle, but also takes seven to eight minutes depending on doneness. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna be adding in my sauces to the bowls and that is gonna serve as the basis of our sauce. So from here, about the seven minutes are up, we're gonna go ahead and drain those noodles. We're gonna add them into our um, already sauced noodle bowls. And then of course, we're gonna give that a stir. We wanna make sure that every noodle is incorporated with all the sauces and the oils, cause that's where all the flavor's gonna come from. And then we have this flat noodle here, which is gonna go right into the sauce, just like so. Yum. And of course, we're gonna add that aroma oil. We're gonna add in our sauce packet there. And then of course we have, um, I think that one was the ginger one. We're gonna give that a mix as well. And this is what they all look like. Cannot wait to dig in. How fabulous do these look, yum. All right, let's get started with some of the noodles. So this one here is the spicy chili and Szechuan pepper. got the sesame noodles here. This one here is the fried shallot. And last but not least, ginger sesame oil. Let's go ahead and give them a try. Let's start off with the spicy pepper, Szechuan pepper. First of all, I'll, I'll say the noodles are amazing. Super long. They're air dry, it's a little bit better. They take longer to cook. So let's dig in and see what the flavor's like. Mmm. You definitely get a Szechuan peppercorn in this one with a good amount of spice to it. I was not expecting that. I would say it needs a bit more salt in my opinion, but quite nice. You've got some seaweed bits that rehydrated really well in these ones. Nice chew in the noodles. Again, I can't believe these are instant. Amazing. Pepper's really coming through. Definitely the main ingredient. Wonderful textural element on the noodles. A bit of dehydrated carrot here as well. Some dried cabbage that's rehydrated as well as well. And bits of corn. Very, very tasty stuff. I'm enjoying these. <laughs> Next, let's try the sesame oil. The sesame noodles. So these ones feature a different noodle. They're long and flat, almost like a linguine. Also take seven to eight minutes to cook. Let's give it a try. Sorry about the banging, there is some construction going on in my neighborhood, but delicious noodles. Again, almost like a linguine. Got a good chew to it, these are wheat-based noodles. Similar um, flakes to these ones as well. So dehydrated carrot, sesame, and the like. A little bit of chili oil that's added to this one as well. So we have a lot of packets. It was sesame oil, we got chili, we got a vegetable packet, and a bit of a soy packet. All of them are have oil, they're oil based. Noodles got a bit of bounce. The sesame paste is very strong. Very thick, but adds like a nice creaminess to it. I will say that the 
sesame paste was a little bit thick, um, so you really gotta mix it up. I would actually recommend reserving a little bit of pasta water. As you can see, this is the part that I just really can get to emulsify really well. But great flavor, very, very rich indeed. This one here is a fried shallot. So again, you've got those stereotypical Taiwanese air-dried noodles, Hainan style. Beautiful, aren't they gorgeous? Again, I cannot believe these are instant noodles. Let's give these ones a try. Mm. It, the sauce features a nice sesame oil that coats it really well. You see a nice shine on the noodles here. Extremely long noodles, got a nice bounce to them. You had your seaweed, carrot, a bit of corn here as well, cabbage. These ones are quite nice. Again, nothing is super salty. I'm always expecting a ton of salt in a lot of instant noodles, but these ones, again, are just cream and stuff, like delicious. Would like to see a bit more of the soy coming through. I would say the star of the show would be that packet of fried shallots. Shallots give a ton of flavor, tons of umami in there. Probably my favorite one so far besides the sesame one. And last but not least, looks like there's not anything on this one, but it is a sesame oil and ginger-based noodle here. So again, a wonderful shine that coats each noodle beautifully. Same kind of air-dried quality noodles here as well. Let's dig in. Lovely hint of ginger. Not very spicy in terms of ginger, because uh, ginger can be quite punchy sometimes. This is like perfect, because I'm not a big ginger fan. Um, but the ginger is definitely the star of the show for these particular flavors. Very, very delicious, very light, very aromatic. Again, no, the oil is um, very nice, a great amount for this one to coat it and makes it for 10 out of 10 slurping, <laughs> slurpability. A wonderful mouthfeel on that sesame oil base. Even have bits of dried garlic, um, fried ginger that in this. And cabbage. Very nice, actually this was really surprising. Very tasty. For some people, they might think it's a bit plain, but I actually love that light hit into ginger. It is definitely a wonderful flavor in this one. So all in all, noodles are great. This is a high quality, I would say more premium noodle for sure. They do, do take longer to make, but you get one flavor of each in the packet, which is awesome. The noodle quality is high. I really enjoyed these ones. Got a great chew to it. Doesn't seem instant to me at all. Um, I would like to have a little bit, a slight more hint of salt in each of the noodles, but they're on their own. They're all delicious and they're all distinctly different. There's no overlap here at all, except for uh, all of them being oil-based, which is really nice, instead of powder-based. So they don't keep it out on the quality over there. There's a fly going into my noodle. Um, it was really, really tasty. Um, I would say it's really hard to pick a favorite because they're all along the same lines, but I would say fried shallot was really good, sesame oil was really good, ginger, and then the Szechuan pepper. I just wanted a bit more flavor in that one, but the noodle to oil quality was perfect. Cooked each noodle greatly. The noodles itself, great bounce, great chew to them, delicious. And would I buy this again? I would definitely buy this again. Um, I wish they had like maybe one flavor they just buy per packet, which I think they do, but this was a great promotional kind of value to it. Very tasty. And I would probably rate this a 4.25 out of 5. Very delicious. And yeah. And now I gotta eat all these noodles. What am I gonna do? <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and the link down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. See you next week. Bye!